Hi, my name is Pete Letterman. I'm a partner at Lemuro Davison Eastman & Munoz. My practice is and has for some time been limited to representing people charged with DWI. Many times people have asked me whether they should provide a breath sample after they've been arrested. The answer that I give them is yes. The reason is because if you fail to provide a breath sample, you're then going to be charged with an additional offense. That additional offense carries additional penalties. For example, for a first refusal, there's a suspension of 7 to 12 months with additional fines. For a second refusal, two-year suspension. Third refusal, there's a suspension of 10 years. Now, in the case of the first offense, the refusal, suspension, and the suspension for the DWI can be served at the same time. They can be concurrent. So it could be any, anything from 7 months to 15 months. However, for second and third offenses, they're going to be concurrent. So if you're charged with DWI and convicted for the charge of DWI and you're convicted for a refusal, it's a four-year suspension, two years plus two years. For a third offense, it's 20 years, 10 years plus 10 years. So you should provide the sample. If you do provide the sample, we can challenge it. If we challenge it, we can potentially get the breath test results thrown out. If we don't get them thrown out, we have to win two cases, not one case, which makes it much harder for the defense attorney and much harder for the defendant to succeed. In addition, the law provides that if you refuse to provide a breath sample, it can be used by the prosecutor as an inference that you knew you were intoxicated, that if you pro provided a breath sample, that breath sample would have shown that you were under the influence of alcohol. Provide the breath sample. We'll defend you. If you have a question, contact us. My name is Peter Letterman. I have passion for what I do. My goal is to make a difference for my clients. Thank you.